Lawyers for three teenage girls charged in the bullying of Phoebe Prince before she committed suicide have had not guilty pleas entered on their behalf. 16-year-olds Ashley Lange, Sharon Shannon Velasquez, and Flannery Mullins were arraigned today in Franklin Hampshire Juvenile Court in Hadley on charges of civil rights violations and criminal harassment. They did not appear in court. Their lawyers entered their pleas on their behalf. They were also ordered to have no contact with the family of Phoebe Prince. 22 News reporter Julie Tremel joins us from Franklin Hampshire Juvenile Court to tell us what's next in the legal process and what South Hadley residents are thinking. Well, when combined, the indictments against these three South Hadley teenagers add up to 39 pages long and include charges like criminal harassment, civil rights violations, and assault with a dangerous weapon. The town of South Hadley has been turned upside down by the alleged bullying-related death of 15-year-old Phoebe Prince. 22 News spoke with one South Hadley 11th grader who says inside from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., the high school is a much more enjoyable place to be than it was, say, in December. But once the bell rings... But I think the stress of, like, the media after school has an effect on how we, how our education is is not benefiting from it. We've heard a lot of opinions about what role parents and school administrators should have played in order to prevent this bullying suicide. But some people say the negative stigma attached to tattletaling needs to change in order for bullying to stop. I guess I'm most concerned about the uh, environment where tattling is considered weakness, where there's kind of this macho attitude, well, you know, you don't tell and everyone picks their own battles. When we're in a small town, you, you look out for each other. One South Hadley resident says he's been thinking about the alleged bullies' futures, too. I'm not in any way saying that whatever they did was, was uh, nothing to be, should be overlooked, not at all. But uh, we have six, six children there, and if this, these things are not handled properly, they'll be ruined the rest of their lives. Now, five of the six teens still have to fill out paperwork in person, either at the state police barracks or right here at the Franklin Hampshire Juvenile Court. A pretrial hearing has been set for July 1st. Live here in Hadley, Julie Tremel, 22 News.